So what you're going to need for this is some face paints, a foundation sponge, a palette. You're also going to need some paint brushes and these can just be art brushes and a white eyeliner. First thing you're going to do is just sketch out the basic features, so the eyes, the nose and the ears. Don't bother with anything else for the moment because these are our, our guiding features and once we have these down it's fairly simple to just add in everything else from there. Next what you want to do is cut up the foundation sponge into three or four pieces because otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to end up using three or four sponges when really you only need one. Starting with a light reddish brown we're just going to put this around the wrist, above the first finger and just underneath where the eye is and also bring it just underneath a little bit around the thumb. On the makeup palette we're going to be mixing together three colours. We want a terracotta colour, a brown and a white which has got a little bit of a bluish tinge to it. For the terracotta red we're just going to fill in the ears a little bit. We're also going to be filling in the space just above the eye and where the nose ridge would be. And moving on to the brown we're going to bring that colour just underneath the eye and fill in the space between that and the thumb. Now bring the colour around just where the ear is and we're going to be filling in this whole space. For a fourth colour we're going to be mixing together a dark brown on the palette, so once you've mixed this we're going to start with the eyes. With a painting brush you're going to take the dark brown and start at the inner corner of the eye and sketch out the shape. Don't worry about being neat at this point, it's not important. What we want to do is get the basic shape and then afterwards we're going to neaten everything up. Start with a few flecks of fur just underneath the eye and again, it's not too important to be super neat at this point, just work on getting the basic shape so that we can start filling in everything later. The part that's going to take the longest to do is the fur, so regardless of what size brush you go for, just make sure it's something that can do really nice little strokes of fur, nothing too big or blotchy. Moving on to the bluey white shade we mixed earlier, we're going to fill in the entire eye and then start on the ear, but instead of doing this in one big line you just want to do this in little flecks as if it was fur. Start filling the eyes, starting with the green and then gradually adding all the little highlights like the yellow and a bit of orange. Start outlining the eye with a black, but you want to use a thinner paintbrush for this. You could also use a bigger paintbrush if you've got a steady hand, but it might be easier to use a smaller paintbrush. Now that all the hard work is done, what you're going to start having to do is adding in all the fur details. So starting off with the white, I'm just going to do all these little flecks of fur, starting from the eye, then gradually moving on to the rest of the leopard. Also don't forget to give him a nose, that's quite important, he's not Voldemort. One thing that's also quite handy to keep for face paints are any old paint brushes which have gotten really frayed and splayed at the end, because even though they might not be any good for painting, because of the way that the hairs stick out in all directions they're absolutely perfect for doing little details like this, because they do it for you automatically, you don't have to think about making them look organic or natural, because they splay out in all directions they make that part really easy for you. And that's it, you're done.